I really hate to break this to you, but alcohol is making you more depressed, weaker and dumber. Now, if you're one of these people who likes to enjoy one, uh, a few drinks of alcohol here and there, if you, if you like going out and getting blasted, if you like going out and getting lit, if you like going out and partying and drinking alcohol, especially if you're a high performer, you need to be aware of what are the causes, what are the benefits of what you're doing to your system, okay? And I'm, maybe I'm making it sound more dramatic by make, doing it to your system, but really putting alcohol in your system has really, 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 really negative side effects, okay? Now, when you ingest alcohol, it actually comes in a form called aldehyde in your system, which is pure toxic and pure poison to your system. Your body has transformed it into two other things that really end up in a form that can be used from your system for actual energy that you can use for uh, fuel, okay? So when it comes in your system, it, it is in a form of pure poison that is really, really toxic in your liver. And if your liver cannot really, really easily uh, convert it into the other forms that your body can use for fuel, you will get alcohol poisoning and probably die as well, okay? And this is really, really stressful to your organs, to your cells, more specifically to your liver. That's the biggest picture, that's the biggest uh, issue with alcohol. The reasons why it's making you more depressed, more weaker and dumber, okay? Now, when you are drinking alcohol, you might say to me that, oh, I, I go to bed really easier. I go to bed like a uh, baby, I sleep like a baby and Everything is good, everything is fine. But in reality, what happens behind that, behind you saying, uh, oh, I feel good, I feel alcohol makes me sleep easier, makes me more calm. The thing is that alcohol suppresses your REM sleep. And especially people that are saying this, alcohol makes me feel good, are not quantifying and assessing their sleep metrics, okay? They're not uh, analyzing cause and effect, which is if you're having something like an O-ring, or whoop band, a Fitbit, whatever, you have an idea of what's happening to your sleep, you have an idea of cause and effect, you can uh, see the metrics, you can see, I drink alcohol that day, what was the result of that? How did my sleep metrics look like? And most of people who are saying, who are claiming my sleep is fine, I don't need to track it, are full of crap, okay? If you go down that route, and if you actually go ahead and suppress your REM sleep, now when you're suppressing your ability to uh, collect enough REM sleep at night, which you're doing if you're ingesting uh, alcohol, your body will not function, and or, nor your brain will function optimally, and this is why. Now, REM sleep is the part of sleep in which your body secretes the most amount of testosterone production at night. Uh, you have actually the biggest pulse of testosterone production at night when you are in REM sleep. And by the way, you get the most amount of REM sleep, the majority of it, like 80% of it, at the in the last three to four hours of your normal eight hour sleep because your REM sleep starts like after 90 minutes of your it's, it's actually right before the end of each sleeping cycle and each sleep cycle lasts for 90 minutes so do the maths and every time actually you start from two three minutes to five minutes of REM sleep and then every cycle it gets bigger and bigger and bigger given that you do not interrupt your sleep. Well, this uh, sequence gets interrupted and your REM sleep gets suppressed when you're ingesting alcohol with the result of you not being able to produce enough testosterone. What is testosterone important for? For making effort feel good, for you get, having motivation to do hard stuff, for you uh, rewarding yourself and feeling good about doing hard stuff, from, for muscle growth, tissue growth, and uh, also mood, okay? So imagine running a business, running a six, seven, eight figure, nine figure business, wanting to be at your optimal level of functioning and wanting to perform at your peak and not getting enough REM sleep, not having enough testosterone production in. This is going to be miserable, okay? You are um, not going to be feeling at your most optimal level, let alone most optimal level. You're not going to be feeling optimal. You're not going to be feeling happy. You're not going to be feeling strong you're not gonna be feeling able to focus, okay? You're not gonna be feeling motivated the next day to do work. You're not gonna be feeling uh, hard work is gonna feel like crap to you, simply because you, this uh, ability of your body to uh, gain enough REM sleep and therefore increase your testosterone production is not there. 
So you're not a competitive kind of guy, uh, high achiever anymore. You're making your, yourself less capable of doing hard stuff and liking to do hard stuff and being able to be competent under your, your space and be able to actually have a good health, have a good fitness, etc. Okay, so that's one side of the equation. Testosterone production for, from REM sleep. Another thing that REM sleep is really important for, solidifying your memory and making sure that from the, your short-term memory, think, things from your short-term memory uh, get solidified into the long-term memory and refreshes the hippocampus of the brain, which is the, the memory storage, the memory center of your brain. Now, what that means, that means poor memory and poor ability to learn new things. That's what hippocampus is for. So you will find yourself struggling to remember things, struggling to focus, struggling to uh, focus on the task at hand the next day. This is not something that only is affected on the long term, it's actually something that you feel immediately the day after. If you get one night of sleep with tremendous amounts of REM sleep, you will feel the results the day after. You will feel much more clear, much more able to learn and remember new things. And if you get do the opposite, which is not be able to obtain my, uh, enough REM sleep, you will feel the results. You will feel groggy, you will feel not able to focus, not able to remember and learn new things easy. And this will be uh, not optimal if you're trying to do few high quality decisions, conduct high quality work in your business, okay? So that's out of the way as well. Now, the other thing about REM sleep is that it's responsible for getting rid of the emotional trauma of that particular day, okay? So it restores your emotional well-being and aids to sort of refreshing your emotional well-being. So if you had a stressful day, an emotional downside, let's say for example, everything like life happens every day, right? The thing is that we move on and every day is a new day. So REM sleep helps you move to that place that, and work with the idea of every day is a new day with uh, adding to your emotional well-being. Not getting enough REM sleep means emotionally unstable, poor moods, stress really easy, and feeling sad as well. So, and more prone to depression as well, okay? Uh, I forgot to mention that testosterone is, low testosterone is one of the big causes of depression. So, take that there as well. Uh, so yeah, not being emotionally stable and not being resilient, not being, uh, not being uh, affected by small things in your business that will stress you out a lot, not being happy, not having mood swings all the time, is not going to be aiding to you to move into the needle forward in life, in your career, in your family. Uh, actually, people who get significantly less amounts of REM sleep are more prone to being unreasonable with your partners and fighting over silly things and generally not being reasonable and fighting, right? This affects not only your business, not only your life, but your relationships with your uh, other halves, your partners, okay? Now, you can, I am not, I don't mean that you should be a robot, you should not adhere to life, you should not go out and party and like enjoy yourself, but when you're doing so, you should not wonder why the next day or two you're feeling suboptimal, your decisions that you make in the business are not optimal, and you cannot make those few separating decisions in your business to get to move the needle forward, to push the needle forward. So you have to make your sacrifices, whether that's business, life, relationships, and your health, okay? So if you like to go down, route, down that route, go for it. If you like sacrificing your cognitive performance, your emotional well-being, and your health, for just the sake of going out on the Sunday and getting racked, go for it. I'm not the person who is gonna tell you not do that. I'm not your father, I'm not your parents. I'm just the, the vessel of revealing the information that you need to arm you and make, make sure that you know the things that you should know about the things that you are doing and that you're not doing to further optimize your health, your well-being, your happiness, your mood, your focus everything that you need to be equipped with in order to move the, the needle forward in your life and business, okay? 
Even me myself like to have a beer once a while with my steak, for example, I like that combination. A beer is really, really different than five or four drinks of vodka, of gin, of whatever you're drinking. Uh, having a drink here and there is not that so detrimental to your sleep, it's not so detrimental to your health, okay? So you can indulge once in a while, like you can have a drink, like once two, once every two weeks, three weeks. Again, you need to be aware of what are going to be the consequences of you indulging in such things, such as alcohol consumption, okay? I'm not condoning the consumption of alcohol in any type of way, because as I said, as I mentioned before, alcohol is poison to your organs, your liver, and is really stressful. So yeah. This is what I had to say to you about alcohol and, consum and the consumption of alcohol and drinking alcohol and how it, how it makes you more depressed, weaker and dumber. How is it going to be affecting your business, your life and your relationships and the moves that you make in your business from now on. So make sure you learn from this video, make sure you implement the tips that I, will, I gave you and the, make sure you take those things into consideration from now on. Don't get completely out of whack whenever you're going out with your friends. Just keep that in mind, guys, okay? So that was it. If you liked and enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like down below, make sure to leave a comment down below, share it with your friends, get them educated on alcohol consumption as well. And other than that, I cannot wait to see you on the next video, guys. Cheers.